Today we are going to look into the three religions of Judaism, Christianity and Islam which all claims to worship one god while denying the existence of other gods, and their relationship of the three religions which they claim they worship the same god. Choose up to three religions faiths and compare their beliefs, rituals and practices, their differences and similarities. Messianic 7 News perspective based on world news events surrounding modern day Israel and the Jewish people. What the Torah holds for us. What is happening to the Gentiles. God's plan for the entire planet revolves around the physical and spiritual restoration of Israel and the consequent return of the Messiah Yeshua. Whether or not the nations realize it, world events are swirling around Israel and God's agenda not the other way around. It is our hope that we can connect for you the prophetic dots between God's plan for mankind, Israel and today's news. Remember Yeshua is still on the throne. There is the real existence of hell and heaven, the creator of the universe. With that in mind, let's dig in. Judaism is practice of Jews' religion of the tribe of Judah and Israel. Judaism emerged from the beliefs and practices of the people known as Israel. What is considered classical or rabbinical? Judaism did not emerge until the first century C. C. Judaism traces its origins to the covenant God made with Abraham and his lineage that God would make them a sacred people and give them a land. Judaism is an Abrahamic, monotheistic, and ethnic religion comprising the collective religious, cultural, and legal tradition and civilization of the Jewish people. It has its roots as an organized religion in the Middle East during the Bronze Age. Modern Judaism evolved from Yahwism, the religion of ancient Israel and Judah, by the late 6th century BC, and is thus considered to be one of the oldest monotheistic religions. Judaism is considered by religious Jews to be the expression of the covenant that God established with the Israelites, their ancestors. It encompasses a wide body of texts, practices, theological positions, and forms of organization. Judaism becomes a religion during the Second Temple period since 535 BC, originated from Yahweh worship. They, unlike Christianity, practice traditions of their forefathers basing their ideology on history, or I will say they are history-based religion and not on theology. They don't have theological reasoning but prove beyond reasonable doubt based on history. Judaism only agree on historical facts. Very soon I will tap into Christianity. Christianity argues all the time based on theology regarding doctrinal issues. Scribe, among other accomplishments of the Great Assembly, the last books of the Bible were written at this time and the canon seal. Hellenistic Judaism spread to Ptolemaic Egypt from the 3rd century BC. During the Great Jewish Revolt 66-73 CE, the Romans sacked Jerusalem and destroyed the Second Temple. Later, Roman Emperor Hadrian built a pagan idol on the Temple Mount and prohibited circumcision. These acts of ethnocide provoked the Bar Kokhba Revolt 130-136 CE, after which the Romans banned the study of the Torah and the celebration of Jewish holidays, and forcibly removed virtually all Jews from Judea. In 200 CE, however, Jews were granted Roman citizenship and Judaism was recognized as a religio licita legitimate religion until the rise of Gnosticism and early Christianity in the 4th century. Following the destruction of Jerusalem and the expulsion of the Jews, Jewish worship stopped being centrally organized around the temple, prayer took the place of sacrifice, and worship was rebuilt around the community represented by a minimum of ten adult men and the establishment of the authority of rabbis who acted as teachers and leaders of individual communities. The Torah, as it is commonly understood by Jews, is part of the larger text known as the Tanakh. The Tanakh is also known to secular scholars of religion as the Hebrew Bible and to Christians as the Old Testament. The Torah's supplemental oral tradition is represented by later texts such as the, the Midrash and the Talmud. The Hebrew word Torah can mean teaching, law, or instruction, although Torah can also be used as a general term that refers to any 
Jewish text that expands or elaborates on the original five books of Moses. Representing the core of the Jewish spiritual and religious tradition, the Torah is a term and a set of teachings that are explicitly self-positioned as, encompassing at least 70, and potentially infinite, facets and interpretations. Judaism's texts, traditions, and values strongly influenced later Abrahamic religions, including Christianity and Islam. Hebraism, like Hellenism, played a seminal role in the formation of Western civilization through its impact as a core background element of early Christianity. Within Judaism, there are a variety of religious movements, most of which emerged from Rabbinic Judaism, which holds that God revealed his laws and commandments to Moses and Mount Sinai in the form of both the written and oral Torah. Historically, all or part of this assertion was challenged by various groups such as the Sadducees and Hellenistic Judaism during the Second Temple period, the Kurates during the early and later medieval period, and among segments of the modern non-Orthodox denominations. Some modern branches of Judaism such as humanistic Judaism may be considered secular or non-theistic. Today, the largest Jewish religious movements are Orthodox Judaism Haredi. Judaism and Modern Orthodox Judaism, Conservative Judaism, and Reform Judaism. Major sources of difference between these groups are their approaches to Halakha Jewish law, the authority of the rabbinic tradition, and the significance of the State of Israel. Orthodox Judaism maintains that the Torah and Halakha are divine in origin, eternal and unalterable, and that they should be strictly followed. Conservative and Reform Judaism are more liberal with Conservative Judaism, generally promoting a more traditionalist interpretation of Judaism's requirements than Reform Judaism. A typical Reform position is that Halakha should be viewed as a set of general guidelines rather than as a set of restrictions and obligations whose observance is required of all Jews historically. Special courts enforced Halakha today. These courts still exist, but the practice of Judaism is mostly voluntary. Jews are an ethno-religious group, including those born Jewish or ethnic Jews, in addition to converts to Judaism. In 2019, the world Jewish population was estimated at 14.7 million, or roughly 0.19% of the total world population. About 46.9% of all Jews reside in Israel and another 38.8% reside in the United States and Canada, with most of the remainder living in Europe. And other minority groups spread throughout Latin America, Asia, Africa, and Australia. Coming up next, what early Christianity up to the First Council of Nicaeus? Like, how did they spread from the Levant, across the Roman Empire, and beyond? If you are watching on YouTube, click like or subscribe to this channel or notification bell for more updates. If you are watching us on Daily Motion or youmaker.com, you can click follow button and follow us. Messianic 7 News Perspective Based on World News Events Surrounding Modern Day Israel and the Jewish People What the Torah Holds for Us What is Happening to the Gentiles God's plan for the entire planet revolves around the physical and spiritual restoration of Israel and the consequent return of the Messiah Yeshua whether or not the nations realize it. World events are swirling around Israel and God's agenda not the other way around. It is our hope that we can connect for you the prophetic dots between God's plan for mankind, Israel and today's news.